Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Here to talk about, just one more time, I want to tell some stories. And if I tell these stories, maybe you'll even see more clearly what I'm talking about. Now, <clears throat> this is dealing with anger and issues. I was one day, or let's say one late afternoon, sitting in a car with someone I loved dearly. And this woman was riding in the car with anger so, oh, I don't know, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to describe it. She was fuming. She was, she was seething. She was uh, shaken with anger. I mean, literally shaken with anger. Um, she and her husband were separating. <clears throat> and at this point, he was getting ready to move out. But they had had so many volatile arguments that he left, you know, for the sake of no one actually getting hurt. They had never gone to blows, and I guess he was trying to avoid that. She was angry with him because there had come up some phone numbers that shouldn't be there. They belonged to ladies. Now, she had never expected, I mean, in her wildest dreams, she had never expected him to cheat. So I'm in the car. Let's get back to the scenario. <coughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm in the car with her. She's driving. Yeah, gets real interesting right now. Her face, listen to this. Her face is literally twitching. Her mouth is just going like that. I've never seen that before, and especially on her. Now, I've seen other people with, uh, I think they call them ticks. And, you know, they have all these little things that go off in their face. Um, yeah, maybe if any of you have that, you should go to the Lord and say, Lord, where's the origin of that? And if it's something you can fix, which you know God can fix everything, would you now? Okay, so I'm in a car with her, <clears throat> and she's playing this, this song real loud. Uh, oh, my goodness. Just, just to kind of stir up her anger even more. And she, her husband had just driven out of the driveway. She gets in the car. Well, I'm not going to let her drive by herself. So I hop in the passenger side. She said, okay, hang on. And she steps on the gas. And we are accelerating, accelerating, accelerating. It is way past 35 miles an hour. <clears throat> you talk about a silent prayer. I was praying. <laughs> you can believe you me. <clears throat> As we're going, she catches up with her husband's car. He's trying to speed up. But she overtakes him, and she bangs the back of his car. He speeds up again. She overtakes him, bangs the back of his car. And I'm saying to myself, okay, hopefully both of us will get out of this alive. <coughs> I had never seen, and she was looking at me and laughing. Have you ever seen a person's mouth? cracking up while their eyes were bawling, literally bawling. The pain in her heart, it was so obvious on her face. I had never seen that contrast before on one person's face. But it made me cry because I couldn't do anything to remove her pain. But I knew the one who could from personal experience, I knew that God could remove her pain, but she was not ready to give her heart to the Lord yet. In the meantime, she finally decided to stop playing Russian roulette, <clears throat> stop trying to scare the bajazzes out of her husband, and she slowed down and went back home. Now, 
I say this, I say that to say this. Some of you have twitches, some of you have ticks, some of you have nervous disorders. You think it's something physical. You think it came from a problem with your nerve endings. Well, let me tell you this, babe. Some of you are literally, literally, literally hurting. Some of you will continue to get worse if you don't go to the great physician. This is a warning. <clears throat> Some have been diagnosed with what they now call in the year 2016. Um, I'm trying to jog my memory. You know, where you go off uh, bipolar, bipolar. Ooh, thank you, that almost escaped me. Some of you have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, but you know it's something else. Now, the reason I say this is because I knew a person very well. <clears throat> this person, if they were made fun of, would walk into a classroom, a quiet classroom, throw books, everything, everywhere, and scream at the top of her lungs. Now, the teacher's sitting behind the desk like, okay, is she cuckoo? Is she emotionally disturbed? Should I call the, the nurse, the psychiatrist, or the paddy wagon? This kid is going off. And then the tears would come. I've seen this person jump on a boy's back and beat and beat and beat and beat and beat. I don't know where. The teacher's looking like, what's wrong with this kid? Nobody's doing anything and all of a sudden she's tripping. What's up with that? Well, let me tell you who that kid was. It was yours truly. Now, in this day and age, I probably would have gotten the diagnosis of bipolar. I probably would have been also diagnosed as emotionally disturbed. But this is what happens when God can't heal. And you're not going to God for healing. And you're trying to process all of this emotional pain, this pent-up anger, the hurts, and the, and the sore feelings. Something's going to give. Even a pressure cooker pops its lid. So all you need is enough pressure, babe. So my point in that is many of you who have bipolar, Many of you who have anger issues, who have sudden outbursts, and you don't know why, where it comes from, and you're really having a difficult time navigating through life, please do yourself a favor. Sit down. Give your heart to the Lord if you have not already. Ask God to heal your heart and take the rage the hurts, the bitterness, the trauma out of you. Because as long as you carry those emotional scars, those emotional scars will erupt like earthquakes and volcano eruptions. You never know when it's going to happen. Or for some people who have a bad case of diarrhea, they don't want to walk out the house because they don't know when it's going to hit. <clears throat> usually at a very inopportune moment, very embarrassing times. So I'm saying that to ask you, 
please go to God to get your healing. That's what's needed. Now, I had that disorder, if you want to call it that, until I was 27 years of age. And at that age, I went to the Lord after going off one more time. <clears throat> and I asked the Lord, why do I go off like that? What is wrong with me? As plain as day, I heard him say, right between these two things right here, rage. And I was shocked. I said, Lord, am I that full of anger? Am I that messed up? Well, please, Lord, take it out. That was the end of that. No more crazy woman. No more cuckoo, cuckoo explosions. No more sudden outbursts. Not from my emotional pain. God began a healing process in me. And I'm here to tell you, he can heal you. You never have to go off again. That's how thoroughly God heals. Now I'm done. It's time for you to take the next step. Go to him. That's the only one that has the solution to your problem.